the Pittsburgh Pirates have called up their number one overall draft pick from the 2021 draft. Um, that's pretty quick. Two Super years is quick. all. One full year in the minors is all he got. His mm-hmm. name is Henry Davis. He's primarily a catcher. Uh, he was drafted out of Louisville. Um where he played his college ball. He's 23 years old, and he jumped three levels now this season alone. He started the year in double A, and then he went and played. He was in triple A for just 13 days before they called him up, which I don't know if they, like, organizationally, they're like, we need to put him in triple A just as a formality, you know, but, like, a lot of guys make the jump from double A to the big leagues, especially your, like, top guys. So... I don't know if, like I said, that was a formality. They were just kind of waiting to see how he did against veteran pitching, whatever. Anyway, played 13 games in right field this year as well, which is where he's actually starting tonight. And, Brig, the Pirates are underway against the Cubs. And so far, he is the only guy on the team to get a hit. You're kidding me. So he got his big league, his first big league hit out of the way and is the only Pirate to record a hit so far tonight. As of this report. Wow. That's yeah, awesome. so he could be a legit pickle. We don't know. We'll see. Um, it's awfully early, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awfully early. <laughs> Very small yeah. sample size. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think it's, I don't know. Jason Hayward also hit a home run on his first at bat. So we don't know. Anyway. He sure did. But the Pirates are going to be keeping three catchers on their roster instead of optioning one of them, or DFAing somebody. Instead, they optioned infielder Mark Mathias to AAA, and then they DFA'd pitcher Elijah Villalobos. So a couple of moves there to bring uh, old Henry Davis onto the roster. But my question to you, Brig, is like, since he started this year in AA and then spent a minimal amount of time in AAA, like, do you think he's ready? Or like, is this a little early? Could this kind of stunt his development? going to the big leagues too early or is or do you think he'll be fine nobody knows i yeah. I, I don't know I, if i were to speculate <laughs> I, <laughs> my my meaningless prediction would be that you know he's hit i'm just looking him up right now he's hit at double a he had uh 187 plate appearances in double a and is responsible for 25 runs off 42 hits in Triple A. Ten games. That's what Baseball mm-hmm. Reference has. Ten games, 45 plate appearances, four runs off 10 hits. So it's a pretty consistent ratio. Right. Without doing the math that I don't want to do. The it's eyeballing. It's a pretty consistent ratio. It consistent, yeah, yeah, it does. So you know, I will see. Um, like we talk about all the time, AAA pitching is pretty good most of the time. Right. Yeah. And if you can hit AAA pitching, you, there's, I mean, there is a difference, but yeah, it's indicative of what you can do at the big league level. And he's already got a hit tonight. A so. lot, a lot of times. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I think, honestly, I think if we had talked about the Pirates five years ago and they made this movie, we'd be like, uh oh, they ruined him. They're going to ruin him. But yeah. at this point, where things are going the way that they are, I don't think they would have made this move if they didn't think he could contribute to this team. Right? And like, and if he's their sort of up and coming guy, mm-hmm. you gotta and he can play behind the plate and out in the right field. You gotta wonder if they're not thinking, okay, no matter what happens this year, he's gonna be one of our core guys moving forward. Let's let him feel all this juice and learn from these veterans and understand what it takes to stick at this level, you know, so that he can mm-hmm. maybe carry some of this mojo next year and the year after and the year after, and whatever that turns into for them. Right. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with that. Absolutely. And I want, I wonder if some of it is like, get him in with Andrew McCutcheon, who I don't know if he'll be back next year, but I assume that once he retires, like I would think he would main like maintain some kind of position with the pirates because he seems to love it there. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And so, but at the same time, though, like I would want to get my top prospects in with Andrew McCutcheon in the clubhouse with him and being like, pick his brain as much as you can, because this guy's got to yeah. figure it out. Well, I just think so. that's what they did with Jeter in, was it 95, right? He sat the bench and mm-hmm. they called him up and he didn't do anything. But man, right. he learned he's, a ton. he's in the background of he's in the background of Alex Rodriguez highlights in the, in 95. 
<laughs> it's the thing. Exactly. But he's sitting in the dugout. That's the thing that's funny exactly. about Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I don't I don't know. And the fact that they're starting him is pretty great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good for him. I'm excited for him. I'm excited for the Pirates this year. They're like we talked about it in the offseason. They've got too many good players to be bad. And I'm glad that they're finally good. It's a lot of fun. It's very exciting. I agree.